Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me. I feel like I haven't filmed in a long time and I'm really happy um, to be back and to be with you guys. I'm going to be doing a couple videos um, coming up. I just have had, hold on, whoa, hold on. This is like the most uncomfortable and like a really comfortable chair. You know those ones you see at like TJ Maxx? that are really super comfortable. That's what I'm looking for. Like the big, huge, comfy chairs. This one just is not doing it. So, anyhow. Okay, so. Today I wanted to do a first impressions video for you on the Revlon Age Defying Firming and Lifting Makeup. And this one is in the color 40, medium beige. It just about fits my skin tone color now. It's probably a hint darker. Um, which I like my foundation that way, which is good. That's kind of what I was going for. I have foundations that are light, that are like pasties, my, which is my skin tone right now, and I just, I don't know, it just, it, I hate it. Um, so I'm going to insert a clip of how I applied this foundation. I did use a beauty blender. Before I applied the foundation, of course, I did use my lotion, and I used a primer. I used the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. When I'm doing first impressions video, I like to wear the foundation as I normally would. I always wear a primer in the morning. I know some people skip this step, don't do it at all, hate it, don't see the point in spending money. I get it, I have this, I spent the money, I'm using it, so I do use a primer. Uh, my day is like an 8, 9 hour, 10 hour day. Um, usually I'm at work probably 8 or 9 hours a day, sometimes even more, uh, especially lately. So a primer and a setting powder is usually a staple for me. By the end of the day, my foundation is crazy. So, um, I did put this on, and the time is 2... Oh my gosh, sorry, I was listening to Pandora. Usher. Oh, sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, here it is, 2.15 in the afternoon. I have to run to Sephora and just get some new face wash and stuff, so... you were wondering, maybe you weren't. The Anastasia Beverly Hills in Pure Hollywood. This was kind of like the color of eye mats, the color everyone's been talking about. It's the um, lip glosses. Let me talk about these in a favorites coming up. But I have it on my lips now and I wanted to share with you so you guys could see what it looks like on. These were huge buzz. They're all over Instagram. I live on Instagram, by the way. Um, I know I've had some Facebook comments and stuff recently. Sorry, guys. I hardly ever go on, on Facebook. I just I made an account and uh, used it for the purpose so that if you guys wanted to see when I posted a video, you could and things like that. So, yeah. All right, so I will check back with you later and let you know how this bad boy is holding up. I didn't put any powder on because sometimes that is a step I skip just out of pure laziness, but I did set it with the Urban Decay to Slick um, Makeup Setting Spray because I want it to last all day and that would be something I would normally do. All right. We had car issues and I was only running out to get a few things. It took me like two weeks because the weather's been so sh shitty. Come on. To go out and get like stuff from Alton Sephora so I could do a haul for you guys and just some stuff I genuinely needed. And um, it's 8.30 right now. A little message there on Instagram. Okay. Um, so the foundation. It is held up very nicely. All I've had to do is I just took a kabuki brush right now, didn't put any powder on it, and just kind of dusted it over my face. A little oily in the T-zone. Not bad. I wouldn't say I would have to um, blot my face, but it did get a little bit on the oily side, I guess. So um, just a little bit here. You can't really tell. I mean, in the places it's going to get oily, it's been on since I think 2. 
So it's been about six, six and a half hours. So um, that's about a day's worth. I would call this foundation a light to medium coverage. I still see some imperfections poking through a little bit. Um, I think it looks great though. That being said, I love the way this foundation applied. I think it looked great on my skin. It gave off kind of a matte, yet um, there was a little bit of a, I don't know if you can tell, I don't want to say dewy, but maybe like a little bit of a sheen to it that kind of gave it like that Lumi effect. If you've ever had the L'Oreal Match Lumi, which was kind of surprising with this because um, it just looks matte. Uh, but I really like the way it applied on my skin. Very easy. It blended in very nicely. Um, I can't say it's covered every imperfection. That being said, I'm looking in a mirror right here. I do really like the way it looks on my skin. It hasn't moved. It doesn't come off cakey. The color is true to the color in the bottle. What else? It hasn't co covered every single imperfection that I have. Um, I don't really like foundations that do. I told you that was like my pet peeve with the Laura Mercier. It was amazing. My skin looked great, but it wasn't my skin. Um, so I would definitely say that this is for sure a long wearing foundation. I would say that it is a lighter type of coverage. It is not cakey. It's more of a matte loomy, if that even is possible kind of look, because it doesn't make me dewy, but it does give off a bit of a glow to it. Um, which I do like and it makes my skin look um, very polished and it's I think it's a great foundation to wear if you're running out for errands or just a night out with the girls, um, going shopping, anything like that. I can't say that it has made my skin feel firmer or lifted but it does look like it's kind of muted out any kind of lines that I would have had in my face if I were to. I guess um, everything kind of looks blended nicely. There's nothing creasing in any of my lines or anything like that. Um, but I, my face doesn't feel differently, not to say that it would. This is just an age-defying, firming and lifting type of makeup. But, but I don't feel like I got like an instant facelift, you know, like the Michael Todd, like that lotion of Michael Todd where it's like an instant facelift I told you guys about a while back. Nothing like that, but um, very interesting. I guess I would really have to see long long um, effects, long-term effects of this. Yeah, I really like it. I'm giving this product a thumb up. The only reason I'm not giving it two thumbs up, which I know I usually do, I do see a lot of my imperfections. It didn't just cover every little thing. I've had foundations that have been medium coverage that have covered a lot more. This doesn't say that it's going to cover everything, but it wears really nicely. I haven't felt oily or greasy. I didn't even think I had to blot or powder. Um, I'm going to come back a little later on tonight and give you my final results. Um, even when I was taking pictures on Instagram in the natural light, I kind of felt like, eh, my skin wasn't at it looking perfect and, you know, flawless coverage. So that's my only thing. But otherwise, this foundation has been amazing and I really like it. I do recommend um, people that are in their late 20s early 30s and 40s to pick this up and try it because age defying, girl, we all need something like this at our age. So it's great to have um, in your collection to try out. If you have tried this and maybe that it has, let me know your thoughts on it. Again, it's a first impression. Give me a month and I could say this is absolutely my favorite foundation in the whole world. So you know how it goes. All right. So I will check back in with you later. Thanks guys. Hey guys. So it is officially 10 o'clock. And I cannot wait to take this makeup off. I'm just exhausted. Um, the foundation is held up really nice. I give it one thumbs up instead of two. And I said that before. It's just because I still see some of my imperfections. Not a lot, but some show through. Um, which I wish I did a little bit more coverage-wise. At this point, it is a little shiny just in general. Because I've had it on since like, what, 1.30, 2 o'clock today. And I am just donezo. But um, I really do like this foundation. I think that it is... Um, worth you guys going out and trying it. It is the Revlon Age Defying Firming and Lifting Makeup. Anything I can do to defy my age, I'm going to do. So I am happy to use this and to try it out. Um, I really do like it. You can get this at the drugstore or at Ulta. It is a medium coverage foundation. It has a very nice finish and lasting power and it looks wonderful as you apply it. But remember, it is not a full coverage 
um, foundation. I don't even think I would say it's like a medium coverage. It's almost like light to medium. Yeah. So I'm heading to bed. I'm going to go watch my favorite show for a second time in a row. Scandal. If you guys, my hands are so dry. Ew, I don't want to show you. If you guys watch Scandal, let's talk about it. If you don't, you need to. It's amazing. It's the best show ever. I watched that. I watched The Walking Dead, which I love. Game of Thrones is coming on soon. I'm trying to get into Revenge. I really can't. Uh, SVU. I'm watching a lot of SVU lately. I don't. Don't ask me why. Yeah, I'm exhausted. All right. I'll talk to you loves later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment below if you've tried an age-defying um, makeup or this one and what you thought of it. And um, I really appreciate you guys stopping by my channel. I have a lot of exciting videos coming up for you soon. And I hope you will stay tuned with me. I will catch you in my next video. Have a wonderful night. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.